Hi, my name is Jasmine. I just want to make a little disclaimer that if I sound congested or sniff at any point in the video, my allergies are acting up, so I just wanted to put that out there. But I am the second oldest child of four kids with a single mother. However, I am the oldest girl, so I took upon all of the a lot of the responsibilities and expectations of being an older child because I'm an oldest girl. Um, I was given the nickname Mother Goose because of how pro protective I was over my sisters and how much I just took over that leadership role of being the oldest girl i'm very family oriented my family means so much to me and i don't think i would be the person that i am without them i love to dance dance is my life i've been dancing for 12 years now and this is my sixth year at my current studio um Lori school of dance and my fourth year on the competition team which i'm so glad that i took the opportunity to take because it's something that without it i don't think i would be the dancer that i am today i got a lot of self-esteem from it and it was something that i just feel was really great for my personality both inside and outside of dance flipping to the school side of it though this is my third year on spartanets which not making it my first year was really devastating for me i had a really clear-cut plan of how i wanted my easy ascension experience to go but when that major door was closed in front of me it was really like detriment to my self-esteem but i didn't let that hold me back i went to my studio and i was like i want to join a competition team i want to get experience i want to better my technique and i did and when i tried the next year I made the team and now three years later I'm co-captain which is something that I was so shocked about I was you know really happy that I was getting the opportunity to do that and then I could just trust in you with my leadership skills to lead the team with not as much experience as the other girls who've been on the team for four years after graduation my two main schools are either LSU or Southeastern I want to major in psychology and minor in dance and education I've actually always wanted to be a teacher something something that I've always wanted to do since i was literally a little kid and i'm actually in the star ed rising program led by miss nunez um that i'm so grateful for i've learned so much underneath like she's taught me so much about what it takes to be a teacher and i'm so excited for all of the opportunities that are to come being in that class um in the community i go to the new st john fellowship church where i'm in a youth group where we teach the word and you know god's gospel to these kids um who are constantly influenced by technology and social media there's so much negativity and hate and just harmful things all around them and showing them the light that is you know jesus christ is something that i think is really important um for the past two years i've been volunteering a lot i did volunteer ascension in the summer and then i also did um, volunteers with america i've learned so many good i've met so many great people learn so many good stories and learn about so many other things that i didn't really think about that you don't really think about as often being in one place that you don't really get until you start volunteering and seeing other people's ways of life um i want to meet martin luther king jr he is one of like he is the man for me like the person i know that i've always wanted to meet his way of change for just in general was just amazing and he's like the type of leader that i inspire to be someone that strives for change but through peace i don't like conflict and it's something that i just don't really see myself being in so creating change through peace is something that i've always wanted to do and Ron King jr did that so beautifully and i just would love to sit and talk to him about it but um you should pick me as your student of the year um for 2022 because through all of the hardships that i've been through you know not being on spartan as my first year um losing my grandfather my sophomore year and then COVID my sophomore year as well i still push through all of the hardships and i still pushed to do the best that i can and i might not have gotten all the outcomes that i wanted to in life but i still put in all the work that i gave in my 100 percent. i gave it all that i could and i kept fighting i didn't give up i didn't let anything keep me down or push me down or hold me back it was something that i just i have a very clear-cut mind and set for myself and i just think that is a great thing that just describes me and that's why i should be your student of the year for this year thank you